The grave is a reminder that all of us have a limited time on Earth. Long after we are gone, our families will remember us by the day we were born. What year you would have been in this particular year. Things that you used to do, or messages you used to pass on, memories, the experiences that they had with you. And that memory will last for a generation. But then there will be a generation that didn't know anything about you unless you do something monumental with the time you still have. Well, I think the deck is stacked against everyone to some degree because life is very difficult and we all die. So, but people, some people do have it harder than others. And, and all of us have it very hard at some times in our lives. It's like, well, what's the, what's the alternative? You take responsibility for that and try to struggle uphill because the alternative makes everything worse. Bitter, should they be bitter? Should they be resentful? Should they become violent? These things don't help. They have to struggle uphill despite their excess burden. And it's, it's responsibility, not guilt. You know, it's not necessarily their fault. That's not the point. You stop dreaming. You stop believing. You stop seeking. When you gonna realize that you hurt? That's what I wanna know. At some point, you let the world put shackles around your imagination. You let the world put shackles around your life to keep you in a place that you are no longer supposed to be at. You allow the world to imprison you in your past. And you think that's all that you are. You let people judge you like they perfect. I hope that you understand that every single person that you look at, every single person that you admire, every single person that you aspire to be like is literally just a regular human being like you that has worked their mucking ass off. Your days are not just marked by the day you were born. That dash matters. In that dash, your life is so fleeting, so fast, so small, so short, that you cannot simply lay aside your expectations, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. You need to pick them up. You need to chase after everything with everything you have and discover what's been locked within you that needs to be released so that the rest of the world can find relief. of us have seen our destiny at some point in time and we decided not to listen we decided to ignore it to know that's that's not for me life came in and slapped us side the head and we stopped dreaming anymore bigger thomas said the impulse to dream has been slowly beaten out of me through the experience of life and that's what causes many of us to give up on our volcano the experiences and the challenges the defeats the disappointments and the failures of life and we decide to prematurely throw in the towel on ourselves or to sell out on our true potential, sell out on living our dreams, feeling that we're not good enough, not wanting to make any mistakes, particularly if you're raised with a great deal of criticism. So you've got to be willing to prepare yourself and do the best you can, take your best shot and let the chips fall where they may. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow. So, so in the future, you look back at these struggles and you say to them, thank you. You made me better. So if you lose and you jump right back up and you haven't really changed, I mean really, really changed from that loss, you're never gonna learn from it and you're never going to really truly know the unforgiving race to greatness because that's, the, that's part of the unforgiving part is the losing part. That part is unforgiving. There are too many talents given to you, assigned to just you. 
And if you could unleash them, if you could only unlock them, if you could do something with them, in that small dash of a lifespan that we have, you can change earth. You can touch lives in ways that no one ever imagined because there is something about your skill set that when it connects to others, we do something amazing. There is an obligation that you have to make sure that before you get to that grave, you leave a presence on this earth. Like, what's the point of having dreams, y'all? What's the point of having dreams? If they're gonna just stay that. If they're gonna stay dreams forever, it gotta get to a point where you actually live in those dreams. You're gonna get to the point where those dreams turn reality for you. Those dreams become your reality. It's time for you to live it. It's time for you to breathe it. It's time for you to be it. It's time now to get more dedicated, to get less distracted, to go deeper. If you want to be great, you want to be the baddest motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. It is. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you fucking do, you've arrived. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. You can think about it, you can wish for it, you can hope for it, you can, can think all about it, all as long as you want. But unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work inch by inch by motherfucking inch, you will never get there. Right, it's time to get more dedicated. It's time to go deeper. It's time to be less distracted. I promise you, if you do these three things, Growth is gonna happen. If you do these three things, you're gonna go into the depth of your dreams and get those diamonds out. It's all on you. Let's get it.